morning. We are leaving Delhi today and headed to Agra. We thought that the process would be pretty stressful and it turns out actually it was okay. All we had to do to figure out our platform was just head to the ticket desk. They were super helpful, pointing us in the right direction. And the great thing is, on your reservation, it will clearly state what carriage you're meant to be on as well. So as long as you match that up with the number that's actually on the carriage itself, then you're good to go. And it seemed to be pretty well signposted when this train rolled in, Absolutely. so that was good. It turns out we probably didn't need to get up as early as we did, but we figure it's always better to have extra time than too little time. I feel like this has actually worked out to be about the right cadence as well. So it's been good. Um, the good news is we're in an air-conditioned car as well, which is great because I have not been feeling my best recently. And the chairs are comfortable, so that's good. Yep. Once this train sets off, then hopefully we should be in aggro within the next two to three hours. Yesterday when we got in off of what was actually a very comfortable train ride, then we decided that we just needed a bit of an R&R &R day. So we took an opportunity to catch up on some laundry. The bathroom in here is nice enough for us to have both had showers, which were much needed. And we just decided also because certainly the food did a bit of a number on me as well. We just needed to take some time to be a bit zen. Um, I needed some meds as well. Pro tip to anybody, if you're coming to a part of the world where the food is going to be a bit more volatile than you'll expect, make sure that you get a prescription of azithromycin or something similar because it is an absolute game changer. It really does help you out. We are also having a little bit of a chill morning today. I am not feeling 100%. It's not the same as Nick's problem. Something just feels off in my tummy, so I think I'm going to be on more bland food today. But we're just going to head out for breakfast, and our plan for later in the day is to go to Agrafort. That's good to We have been chilling in our room ever since breakfast. It was, I would say, the perfect plain bland food that my stomach certainly needed. I've been resting up because to be quite honest, I'm not feeling that great. I'm feeling a little bit better, but we have tickets to Agra Fort for this afternoon and I am just not willing to miss out on that. So I'm gonna rally. We'll see how long I last. So that's where we're headed now. If you buy tickets for Agra Fort and Taj Mahal online, you can save 50 rupees on each one. So this means that instead of paying 600 rupees to get into Agra Fort and 1100 rupees to get into the Taj Mahal, you'll pay 550 rupees to get into Agra Fort and 1050 rupees to get into 
the Taj Mahal. That works out to be about nine Canadian dollars for Agrafort and 18 Canadian dollars for the Taj Mahal. I know it's not a lot of money saved, probably just a dollar each, but you know, every penny counts. The structure that we can see today was initially part of a renovation in 1573. In keeping with typical architecture of that time, then it was built using red sandstone and white marble. Prior to this period though, while there is a lot of documented history about Agra itself, not much is known about the usage of this particular site. However, what is known is that this was used by the Lodis and the Mughals during the 16th century onwards. Once upon a time, it was actually Agra that was the capital. As a result, this was used initially as the royal residence until it all got switched over to Delhi in the time of Shah Jahan. As such, this fort was a precursor to the Red Fort that we saw in our previous video. The layouts are very similar with a lot of outdoor spaces like courtyards, a hammam, a mosque, private and public audience halls, and multiple apartments for the royal family, as well as the protective ramparts typical of a fort. We have just finished walking around Agra Fort. It is absolutely massive. It's interesting because to me, it seems like it's more buildings than garden when you compare it to the Red Fort. And considering the age of this fort, which they don't really know exactly how old it is, but I'd imagine based on what we've read that it's probably around 600 years old if not more i guess yes this place is in fantastic condition like the red sandstone the marble the carvings on the walls and the ceilings the mosaic that still have color it's very much mostly intact i know it was renovated but that was in like 1537 so i mean that's a long time ago we just had to pause because we were asked for our like maybe 18th. 6th or 7th, we <laughs> are going with 18th, yep. selfie of the day. But I think this is probably my favorite thing we've done in India so far. I've really enjoyed this and that's despite the fact that I feel so sick that I've had to sit down every 100 or 200 feet and that's without exaggeration. Yep. You've been an absolute trooper for this entire stint and like it's actually been kind of nice because of the fact that we needed to take so many breaks and we just had much more of an opportunity to just take it in because mm -hmm. we've been able to get through it like really step by step and it's really just magnificent because I think like you say like the Red Fort was really impressive but I think this is nicer just because you get to see so much more in a slightly smaller space. I think there is definitely something to be said for kind of less is more when it comes to all of this kind of stuff. And so it's nice because you basically go through a gateway, there's a courtyard, you go through another one, and then there's a bunch of other interesting buildings um, and gardens and stuff like that. I think what then strikes me is the fact that it actually then backs out onto oh, yes. the river, which is fantastic because then from here you get the most incredible views of the rest of Agra, including the epic Taj Mahal. So as far as that goes, like the location couldn't be any better. The yeah. site is stunning and they've done an amazing job to maintain this as well. And yeah, honestly, I think we've both said that this has been one of our favorite places to visit in India so far. We're going to wrap it up for the day because uh, neither of us are necessarily feeling our best, but uh, we're hoping to be absolutely fighting fit for our visit to Taj Mahal tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>